Hello, my dear students. Here we are again uh, in new session and prime four. OK, now we will talk about. Energy. And collision. What what uh, what is meant by collision? When something hit something else or crash to something else, this is called collision. But what about energy and the collision? When some two objects or something crash to another object, there is a type of energy happen or this crash happens due to the energy because the for example, this car has a kinetic energy and the other car has also a kinetic energy. When they crash to each other or with each other, uh, there is a collision happens and uh, another energy produced like sound energy and heat energy. OK, so the energy and collision come together. OK, so what is meant by collision? It is the pumping or crashing of two objects into each other. OK. It is pumping or crashing of two objects into each other. When two objects collide with each other, what happens? An amount of energy transfer between them. Number one. What else? Change of energy occur. How? The kinetic energy changes into heat energy and or thermal energy and sound energy also. Okay? So what is the effect of the speed on collisions? OK, when the, this car crashed to the tree, what happened? The, the car damaged and the tree also broken. So the amount of kinetic energy of a moving object depends on two things or two objects, the mass of the object and the speed of the object. The amount of kinetic energy depends on what mass and speed. OK. When a fast object crash into another, the faster object transfer some of its energy to the other object. OK, so what happened by increasing the speed? By increasing the speed of the object, the energy that transfer, what's meant by transfer? Move from something to another, OK? That transfer during collision will increase also. So by increasing the speed, by increasing the speed, the energy that transfer will increase also. So by increasing the speed, the kinetic energy increases, OK? Some of this transferred energy may be the change in the form of heat energy and the light energy or sound energy. Pop sound, OK? Driving fast is very dangerous. Why? Give reason. Why? Because if a car increases its speed, its kinetic energy also increases. That results in exerting a large force during an accident. So what happened? The speed. By increasing the speed, the kinetic energy increases and a large force exerting during the accident. So it will cause more damage. OK, so what happened if two cars move at different speeds in opposite direction like this? This car crash into each other in different direction or collide with each other in different direction. What happened? The force exerted in the accident depend on speed of the postcar. So the damage would be more stronger. The damage would be more stronger. Why? Because they move in opposite direction. But what happened 
when two cars move at different speeds in the same direction collide with each other like this and another car behind okay what happened the force exerted in the accident depend on the speed so this lead to damage that it would be less strong uh, when the two cars in the different direction the damage would be more stronger but when the two cars move at different speed in the same direction the collude or the damage would be less stronger okay would be less stronger because because what they move in the same direction clear okay let's exercise on this part when the speed of a moving object increases the energy of the transfer the energy that transfers during its collision will increase the speed of a moving object increases the energy that transfer what will it will increase also okay when two objects of the same mass move with the same speed two objects move with the same mass when two objects of the same mass move with the same speed collide with each other the result of the damage with the same mass yes with the same speed the damage would equal on both of two objects okay because they have the same mass and the same speed so the damage would be equal on both cars or both objects what true or false and slow a slow and light object has much kinetic energy slow and the light object has much kinetic energy no small object has less kinetic energy than the bigger object or the big object when you collide with uh, an object a part of your kinetic energy may change into sound energy true complete the following sentences the amount of kinetic energy of a moving object depend on mass and speed when two cars collide with each other some of energy may change into heat sound and also light light energy when a moving car hits a tree a part of its kinetic energy change it into change it into what when which you hear it you should complete the sentences okay change into what when you hear it you hear what sound energy give reason for when two objects collide with each other you can hear a sound why because a part of the kinetic energy change it into change it into what sound energy okay or transfer into kinetic energy uh, sorry transfer lesson four as the force of an object increases its speed and kinetic energy will also increase because both of them is uh, depend on each other okay so 
as the force increases, the speed of the object and its kinetic energy will increase. As the kinetic energy increases, more damage will happen to this object during collision. Okay? See? This is the largest object or the biggest. So it, it comes faster and its kinetic energy increase and its speed also increase. The effects of mass on the collision. The relation between mass of the object and their kinetic energy, they related to each other. If the kinetic energy increases, the uh, mass increases and its speed also increases. Different vehicles have different masses. Where a large truck has much greater mass than a car. So the truck has much greater mass than the car. Okay? Watch. If a large truck travel at the same speed of the car, the truck has more kinetic energy than the car. And the truck needs a bigger engine than the car. So when they move faster, the amount of fuel that burns inside its engines increases to provide it with more kinetic energy. So as the mass of the object increases, its kinetic energy increases as, and the amount of fuel that burns inside the engines also increases, okay? So the truck has more mass, more kinetic energy, uh, large uh, engine or, or bigger engine and more speed okay than the smaller car give reason for the truck whose mass one ton has half the kinetic energy of another truck that has mass two ton when they both move at the same speed why because if the mass of the object increases its kinetic energy at the same uh, speed also increases. So by increasing the mass, the kinetic energy increases. Okay? The effect of the mass on collision. A large mass vehicle causes more damage when it hits something than a small than a small mass traveling at the same speed. So the large masses causes more damage. Okay, then the smaller one. Energy conversion during a collision. Converse means keep. Okay, or save. Energy conversion during a collision. What happened to the energy do during a collision? You have learned that two objects collide with each other transfer uh, and the change of energy happens or take place such as when you play a game with marble this game this is called marbles yes kinetic energy is transferred means move from your hand to the first marble then then there is another transfer of energy from your marble to the ones you hit. Some kinetic energy is changed into sound energy when you hear the click sound during collision between the marbles. And also, uh, cradles uh, Newton, okay? When you raise some uh, of these cradles, its kinetic energy decreases and potential energy increases. When you let it down, the potential energy changes into kinetic energy and transfer between the other marbles or cradles and hit each other. So the energy changes from potential to kinetic, from kinetic to potential, and so on. So the energy is not destroyed, okay? But it changes from one form to another, okay? That's all. Uh, let's exercise on this part. If two objects collide with each other, the energy after collide is 
not the energy before collision. Not a change. But transfer from one form to another. Trans transform from one form to another. Okay? On a flat road, if a large truck is traveled at the same speed of the small car, then the truck has more kinetic energy. As we said, the large objects or the truck has more kinetic energy, has more speed, has more mass, okay? But true or false, the force that acts on an object doesn't affect its speed. No, it affects its speed. When you act a hard push on an object, its speed increases. When you act a gentle push, the speed will be gentle or a little. Okay, the smaller the mass of the vehicle, the less fuel it consumes. True, I said the large vehicles or the trunk truck has more kinetic energy, has more speed, so it needs bigger engine and also uh, the amount of fuel increases. Okay. So the small one has the opposite, has a small vehicle, uh, has a small uh, kinetic energy, smaller uh, engine, a smaller uh, amount of fuel. OK, speed and the mass are factors that affect the kinetic energy of a moving object. True, the kinetic energy depends on speed and mass. Complete the following sentences by increasing the force that act on a moving object. Its speed increases. That causes the increase of its kinetic energy. Okay. When a marble hit another one, some of Planck energy change into Planck energy when you, which you can hear. Some of its kinetic energy or, or its energy It change into sound energy, which you can hear. Okay, in vehicles, the energy that is stored in the fuel, the chemical energy. Okay, the kind of energy that is stored in the fuel and the food is called chemical energy. Change it into plank energy that allow them to move the kinetic energy so we called the energy that is stored in the fuel or batteries or uh, food chemical potential energy so we can summarize it and the called chemical energy without potential okay okay uh, we finished i hope this part uh, will would be clear for you uh, we finished the, our curriculum for uh, this semester. Uh, let's uh, meet again in the revision uh, next week, inshallah.